Welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me today. Today we're going to do a nice little simple painting anyone can do. And if you're new, leave a follow or try along this painting and then we'll see how it turns out. Um, or you could pull up the old easy chair. So today we're going to do something different. What I did was I put a contact paper and I just made an oval out of it. And since it wasn't sticking on properly, I put tape around it to sustain it. Now you could paint the whole canvas, you could do an oval. It's up to you, I'm just giving you guys ideas. Now, let me run the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me. While you're doing that, how I said, I have my canvas. That's a 16 by 20 inch canvas, pre-stretched, double prime. And in the oval, I had a thin layer of the liquid white. Rather than that, it's all ready to go. Let's get started. Let's go into a little bit of fresh and blue. Little bit. I confused myself and I got fresh and blue instead of phthalo blue. So it's going to be a bit darker. Let's come on here. Just making some nice strokes of a sky. I don't want um, a plain old sky. I want something that has texture, that has depth, that looks like it's just floating by. So I'm just going to lift upwards the way I want it to, pull it down a bit, lift it up a bit, get a little bit more, maybe right here gets darker maybe. Maybe it gets darker around here. And just lift it up if you want it to go a certain direction. Pull down. Okay, and just like that, I have my sky. Now, let's go ahead and let's start with the mountain. Already in the painting. Little bit of Prussian blue, lizard crimson, and cadmium yellow. Just like so. Okay. Pull your paint out as flat as you can get it. Let me clean my knife. And just cut a roll of paint. As you can see. Let's come up here. Where does our mountain live? Just scratch in. A basic look. For our mountain. And so just a little bit here and there. Now, when you're painting this, I recommend you go step by step and actually do less peaks because the more peaks you have the more challenging it's gonna be for this so the less you have the better it is for you and at least for beginners just scratching out that basic paint that's on, on the canvas Beat off the access paint, touch it, 
pull it. Just grab the paint and since we have liquid white you can grab that paint and pull it. Just grab it, pull that paint I want a little bit of mist down here at the bottom. Just tapping a bit. Most of this isn't going to pop out either way. Okay. Let me do something real quick. I'm going to get more crimson. More phthalo blue, a touch more of the cadmium yellow. Let me get some white to see where I'm at. I want like a brown reddish tone. So I just mix it up until you're completely satisfied with where you're at. A little bit more white. Okay. I have my gray tones. Now I'm going to take some of that. Mix up more dark color. Just a bit more dark color. Get some white. This should be a grayish type of color. You can mix up so many colors with just these basic four colors. White, blue, red, and yellow. So I have brown and I have gray. I'm going to a little bit of gray. And just lightly, lightly graze it upon. A little bit more white. It's too dark. Okay. Just like so. Now, I'm going to go into my brown. I want to make it seem like there's rocks. And it's just a nice summer day. But in your painting, you can you can uh, paint whatever type of mountain you want. Remember, no pressure with your palette knife. No pressure whatsoever. Just adding on what I'm hoping to look like um, rocks, like a rock uh, mountain, something in the far distance. And in person, it's an interesting look because right now it's interesting since we're adding layer on top layer on top layer. until I'm completely satisfied. When you're painting this, you could take more time. You don't have to do this in one setting. Okay, just like that. I'm not going to put a shadow for this mountain, but I am going to tap the base following the angle. Lift upward. Go across. Now, let's go ahead and let's start with forming the rest of the painting. 
So I'm gonna go into here. It's going to a little bit of yellow. That's gonna turn it more greenish. Maybe, maybe there's some grass over here. I could just do that to speed it up. <laughs> just to not waste much time I just care about that edge and just pull across and there's a lazy way to paint <laughs> so maybe Okay, a little bit of dark. Let's just add in a nice little highlight. And I don't want to make this painting too bright. But as we get lower, I want to darken the paint. I don't want it bright, bright, right there. I want it to get darker and darker. So just getting that green color darker. Okay. I'm going to some light cadmium yellow just to sparkle up a bit here and there. And whenever this runs out, I'm going to just stop at there. See how it kind of just, um, how can I say, the tones get darker because it's uh, blending in with that dark tone. So as it's coming down, it's blending with that dark color. And that's exactly what I want. And when you're painting, it should be the way you want it because you're painting for yourself. You're not painting for no one else. An easier alternative rather than doing that is to put your dark tone or your dark green in this case and um, when you get to the top once you're done you just add lighter colors I did it too bright on the bottom in my opinion Okay, get some cadmium yellow and just tap in that highlight. Just tapping in nice little grass highlight and just kind of let it go into nowhere now I want to do some trees but I want to make it look nice so I want to just cut out right here and all I'm going to do is scrape off this area of paint at least okay 
So let's get a nice fan brush. Going to little bit of Prussian blue, little bit of lizard and crimson, little bit of yellows. It's a dark, dark green. The reason why it's green is because of the blue and the um, yellow interacting. This tap. Maybe this evergreen is just right there. Let the imagination work and that contact paper. Okay, just loading up more paint. And just with the corner of the brush, don't use the whole brush. Some people are tempted to use the whole brush, but you're not supposed to use the whole brush. You're supposed to just use the corner of the brush to get that evergreen effect. I know sometimes it may look easier just to go ahead and use the corner, but don't do it. Because then your trees aren't going to look as good as you would want them to look. Okay, maybe something like that. Now I'm going to use my smaller fan brush. I'm going to go into a little bit of yellow. A little bit of green. Just a little highlight. Nothing too crazy. It kind of gets lost in there. Okay. Right here. It gets lost in there and when one side of the paint is already out you use the other side out of the 18 minutes I've been painting I have not washed a single brush that is bad. Let me wash this brush. Shake off the excess. Okay. Well, let's go back to our cadmium yellow. Maybe it just goes like that. We could always come back and change it if we wish to. Okay. Let me get some of that dark. Mixed with some brown in there. Some dark. And some brown. Some yellow. Red. Just mix up a multitude of colors. Mix up 
you have to first mix up a green color and how you make green well you mix red I mean red you mix blue and yellow that'll make you a green and you mix some um you mix a little bit of red now make your brown Ooh, I like that tone but I'm just gonna add some white okay clean my knife let's go up here maybe I want a nice little cabin okay that out and just place the paint just like so okay let me cut a roll here At this point, I'm not following any particular steps or doing it how it's meant to be. I'm just free doing it. Okay. There's so much paint caked on to here. Now, I'm going to go into some white and a touch of red. Maybe a touch of yellow. cut a roll let's just start this cabin just let that paint break it's starting to get that look of cabin I'm not sure if you guys could see that a hundred percent but it's getting there a little bit more red for the roof just a little you can just tap and I'll make like shingles or you can roll it down however you like Okay, a little bit of yellow, I want like a touch of orange in there, I'm just mixing up colors till I like it at this point, okay. Let me clean my knife. Let's do a little cabin, like shape it and everything. Just by scratching out a little bit. Okay. I want to make that darker. Just 
just so I could look like shadows and everything. I'm just cleaning my knife every time I do it. Okay, that seems pretty decent. It's better than what I was expecting at that point because I wasn't expecting it to be that decent. I didn't try like I should have. Maybe over here, these just connect. You know what maybe you can always change it maybe it comes over just like so now 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 let's go into that cabin color let's lay in a nice little simple path I'm just using my number six filbert. Okay, going to that lighter tone, some white. I don't want it too bright. Okay, let me get my brush and you could just even out with the grass. Just like so. Maybe the grass is taking up, taking over that piece of land. Just making it darker to add on a few other highlights so it could stand out. And if I wanted to, I can go into a little bit of white and just tap my brush. Just tapping it. Tap, 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 tap. Maybe I'm going to do that over here. Just a little. Just a little. Um, highlight. You know what? I don't like that. It's too. Um, high up. So I'm just bringing it down. It's still keeping that look of it's going out there. You can blend it in. You cannot, cannot, cannot make a mistake. We do not make mistakes in this style of painting. Just adding a few little sticks, twigs. 
It's gone to a little bit of uh, yellow with my 2 inch. And that looks better. But I feel like it's missing one more tree or some something it's missing. Let me put a door before I forget. Maybe they, they forgot about that cabin. They forgot it existed. Um Okay. Here comes your bravery test. Here comes your bravery test. It's going to dark colors and just <whistles> gotta make a couple noises. It helps when you make noises. Now I used to hear people. Um, well, not here. I used to see people uh, paint and they would make noises. And I would think, that's dumb. You know, that doesn't help. They're just weird. But it actually does help. It helps you focus a bit. It helps you get in the mood a bit. It does help. Okay, it's going to light color. Loading up my brush and just can tap on that highlight. Something so simple. And I think I think that's pretty nice. So now Let's see if my contact paper and everything was just right. It ripped horrible. Oh my god, this is a bit harder. You get the idea. The idea's right there. That nice little um, oval. And I'm going to clean up the edges a bit and everything. But for that, I have to wait until this dries off. But I like it. It's a nice little simple painting. Anyone can do it, as I stated in the beginning. I hope you try this painting out. This painting is a nice little simple painting. This painting, you can make it more complicated. Or you can leave it as it is. Well, I hope you try this painting out. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, my friends.